Hi villagers, I'm Brooke Benton and I'm here to bring you a core challenging workout. It's only 15 minutes long. This workout is friendly for all fitness levels, so I'll be showing you ways to make it easier and ways to make the moves harder. All you need is a mat. You could do this with no equipment at all, but a mat is really helpful for core because it cushions your spine. Let's go ahead and pull out that mat and let's get started. All right, you guys, let's begin with some basic crunches. Hands behind the head. Exhale, lift. It is important that you exhale on the concentric, inhale on the eccentric. That means exhale with strength exercises when the muscle shortens, inhale when it lengthens. In other words, exhale exert. Always exhale during the hard part of an exercise, the strength. We form here. You don't want to interlock your fingers behind your head, because when we do that, you have a tendency to jerk your head and neck up, and really, those hands are just back there to support the weight of your head into your hands, and rely on the strength of your abs to do the lifting. You also want to be sure that your elbows are just in the corners of your eyes, in your peripheral. You're not going to hold your elbows in tight, nor are they going to be out wider than your ears. So just slightly in. Four more basic crunches. You're doing so good. Right off the bat, add a triple pulse. So three, two, and lower down. Do that again. Three, two, very nice. More time under tension means more tone in those abs. Right now we're focusing on the most superficial of all abdominal muscles. It's called your rectus abdominis. Those are the muscles closest to the skin surface. Good, triple pulse. Four more. How about three more? Woo! And two to go. Alrighty then. Let's add rotation, side to side. Twist. Now, we're challenging your internal and external obliques, the side ab muscles. Four and three. Let's make it a little more challenging. Optional crisscross, adding leg movement. If that's a little too much for you today, then don't add the legs. Keep your heels planted. If you do add rotation with legs, out and in, I'd like you to look towards the elbow that's closer to the ground as you rotate. Still want to make it harder? Take the straight leg closer to the floor. Ooh, mama. Four, three, two, and three. Just hold it there. Hold it isometric. Don't change a thing. Oh man, everybody wants to go fast. I say let's go slow and feel the goodness. Switch sides and hold. Isometric, right there. Nothing changes, hold it steady. You're doing great. I know this isn't easy. That's what makes it so cool. That, that's what makes it worth it. Two quick, one hold. Quick, quick, and hold. Do that again. Twist, twist, now freeze. Do that again. Twist, twist, stay right there, again. Three more. Fantastic, let's go. Two, and once more. Help yourself up to seated. Hands behind the buttocks, you're about one third of the way done with this workout. We're moving to accordion crunches. With accordion crunches, your knees are gonna come in towards your chest and then out long. Okay? In, out, in and out. If this is a little too easy for you, take away the arms. Seven. Six. Four. Three. Beautiful. And two, I call these accordion crunches. Hold it out. Take your hands underneath your glutes. 
over, under. One leg goes over, other leg goes under. Ideally, your shoulders are cleared off of the ground. If that's too tough, just drop your shoulders, your head and your neck down to the floor. It will still be super challenging, even if you drop your shoulders, head and neck. Seven. into this free hand. Four, three, you wanna make it easier, then just come with one leg in. Now straight, out, Woo seven. If this is too much, just go one leg, like this. Four, three, two, and beautiful, good news, you worked one side, bad news. You have two sides. That's right, two sides to that body. Other hands down, other hand behind your head. Knees in, bring that calf in to touch the elbow. Let's go out and in, oblique according to your crunches. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One more here. You know you have the option to just bring the top leg down, making it a tiny bit easier. Straight with both arms and legs. Seven. Six, bring it in together. Upper and lower body moving in tandem. Four, three, beautiful. And flip it over. Right here, pull the low plank. Shoulders right over those elbows. Tight tush, tight abdominals. This is called a low plank. Let's progress, push plank. Up, up. Down, down. Alternate which arm pushes up first. <laughs> now, really try to eliminate the rotation in the hips here. It's difficult. Your hips are wanting to rotate, but you try to make this an anti-rotation exercise. That means coming up with no or little shift in the hips. Hold it at the top, turn to the side, we're gonna twist through and lift up. Seven twist. Up, challenging the obliques, challenging that bottom shoulder as well. You wanna make it a little easier? Drop your bottom knee. Ooh. You wanna make it a little bit harder? Stack your heels. There's your options. Here's two more like this. Take that top hand, reach it long overhead, over. Back to side plank, three more. And two. Very, very nice, let's go one more. And have a seat. Shift your legs to the other side. Lift into side plank. You know your options with those legs. You can stagger the feet, drop the bottom knee for easier, Stack the heels for harder. Twist through. Twist. And rise up high. When you're up high, top arm is wrist just above the elbow, which is just above the shoulder, and it lines up with the bottom arm. Shoulder, elbow, wrist. Four more. Three. Four is feeling right. Excellent. Now take the top arm, reach long over, over, hoist your hip up, back to side plank. Reach over, lift those hips, back to side plank. Two more. And one more. Have a seat. Lay back. 
This is a super tough exercise. It's called a V-up. We're gonna regress it to start by just doing one leg at a time. Papiche, long through the arms, long through the legs, lift up. And lower. Lift up, touch the shoelaces of one foot. Lift up. If this is a little too much for you today, then just come with a bent knee as you rise up. You can also modify the range of motion just coming halfway up like this. But your full option is rising up into that single leg V-sit. Let's add rotation, yeah? Up, hey obliques, lower. Up and twist, and lower. Nice, look towards the back arm as you rotate. Up. Taking that pinky finger and cutting outside the ankle with the front arm. Three. You guys are killing it. Doing great today. This is not a not an easy workout by any means. Now both arms, both legs, be up. Up. Lower. Lift. Ideally in tandem. Arms and legs. Now an easier option is just to come up with bent knees to tabletop. You can also keep your low back down and just modify it into a punch position versus full sit up. But that double leg V up is your ultimate option. Four more. Three to go, folks. One more. Lower. Nice. You're comfortable, right? We're not comfortable being comfortable. We want to keep challenging. It's only a 15 minute workout, so you're going to sweep the legs around. Assume high plank. Legs a little bit wider than your hips. Shoulder taps here. Tap, tap. Minimize any shift in the hips. It's going to shift slightly, but try to minimize it. Focusing on trying to stabilize. Now tap to your hip bones. Tap. Really making a concerted effort to tighten your abs as tightly as possible. That's how you're going to remove any kind of shift. Tighten the abs, switch the glutes. Now tap to your knees. Four, three, two. Can we cut that down? Opposite shoulder taps. Four and three, two. Opposite hip taps. Yeah, just like that. This does not work if your feet are together. Now me, you need to have some distance between those feet. Four, three, two, hey, check it out. We're gonna do one of each and add a tricep push-up. Hip, yes, add a tricep push-up. Knee, tricep push-up, boom. Do that with me again. Shoulder, shoulder, hip, hip. Knee, knee, tricep push-up. You can take out the knee tap and just repeat the hip taps if the knee is a little bit much. Again. We got four more. Tap, tap. So not only are you getting great ab work, we're also toning the arms with no equipment besides your body weight. Heck yeah! Two to go. One more, shoulder, shoulder, hip, hip, knee, knee, and folks, that is your 15 minute core challenge. Thanks for joining me and I hope we do another workout again real soon, virtually.